x and y are real numbers, x plus y squared equal to x plus 1 times y minus 1, and we should find x and y are what? Here we use changing variable. I call this one a, this one b. x plus 1 is a, y minus 1 is b. If we add left hand side, it will be x plus 1 minus 1 will be look, x plus 1 plus y minus 1 left hand side equal to a plus b is to 1 and negative 1 will be cancelled, so x plus y equal to a plus b. So I can say x plus y is a plus b. Now, if I rewrite this, a plus b squared equal to a b. We should use this famous identity. We can say left hand side equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equal to a b. If we take a b to left hand side or if we subtract a b from both sides, it will be a squared plus a b plus b squared equal to zero. Now, because I want to use this identity again, I multiply it by 2. So it will be 2a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equal to 0. Now, I consider, sorry, plus 2b squared. Because we've multiplied by 2, it will be 2b squared equal to 0. So I say 2a squared, I write it as a squared plus a squared. 2ab, I write 2ab. And again, this part. 2b squared, I write it as b squared plus b squared. Here, I can use again this identity and say it is a squared. The first one, a squared, is term. By using, applying this identity, a plus b squared, and this one will be what? b squared equal to 0. But here we said it's 0. There are some of some squares that equal to 0, each of them is at least zero, there are real numbers, so we can say all of them should be zero. A should be zero, A plus B should be zero, and B should be zero. So if A and B are zero, A plus B will be zero. A is what, from changing variable, A is X plus one here. X plus one equal to zero. B is this part. Y minus one equal to zero. So we conclude x should be equal to negative 1 and y should be equal to 1. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Thanks.